Uh, hello everyone, we're the continuity crew. I'm Will. I'm what's his name in that movie? Christian Bale. That's when. That's not Christian. I wish it was Christian Bale. Free Film Friday, where we kind of talk about whatever we want. It's yeah. been a while, so we're gonna kind of catch you up on some movies we watch. Probably we're gonna not stick to new releases. I've got my whole list. I've been watching a movie a day, but like new releases, we'll give like a quick rating. Not really go into it at all. Yeah. Not even gonna write it down. Yeah. Just like hey. We saw this one. When what? See anything interesting recently? Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Blonde. Blonde. Yeah. yeah. I guess those are two. I haven't seen Amsterdam. Do you have? Do you have a rating? Just quick. For Amsterdam. Just not even critical entertainment. Just. Amsterdam. Oh, overall, I'd probably give it a six. No, six. no, no. That's okay. That's that gives me hope. I'll give it a six and a half. Okay, that actually gives. Yeah. Me, you said it was messy and all, but it okay. was. Um, you want me to give you a rundown real quick? Yeah, go for it. It's a okay. recent release. People will actually yeah. care about that one. So Amsterdam, subscribe. Uh, surprisingly, Amsterdam it had a great cast and crew. Yeah, like huge <laughs> stacked. Yeah, yes. Uh, like they just kept coming in. And I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? Um, really good cast. Uh, the movie's really funny. The the thing that the movie struggled in was keeping track of the story because yeah. it just kept going all over the place like when you get to a kind of mid the midway point between act one and act two mm -hmm. it gives you a background of like christian bale and denzel washington denzel uh john john david yeah john david washington's relationship prior to that and then a person shows up and it's like and then it goes back to that scene where they stopped in the beginning and i'm like why wow, i just almost forgot about that why didn't it just okay. continue so like the whole that. movie is just messy. It's almost like it was improvised throughout. Okay. Uh, it's like I don't I don't know how to explain it. It's a good cast though, and it's really funny. Okay, it, like dark humor. Kind I, of I was getting that vibe. I definitely think I'll like it. I'm gonna see it later this week, so we'll yeah. see. Stack cast. Um, I know Taylor Swift's in it. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about her. Oh, you want a spoiler about her? Sure. <laughs> Within ten minutes, she fucking dies. Thought so. <laughs> She was horrible. I'm sorry. Um, but it was funny. And then um, Blonde. Not the way she does. Quick thing. Um, it's just like a mess. I don't. Speaking of mess. Yeah. That yeah. was way worse. Of a I mess. just. Anna Darm is great. She's an interesting Marilyn. I didn't like her as Marilyn as much as I thought. That movie. I don't know what message it's trying to convey at all. I, I, I understood what they were going for. There's what. I, the only thing I'll say about this movie is that I understood what they were going for mm -hmm. and i like the artistic uh yes uh, the creativity that they put into it but god damn i i like artistic freedom a lot but like someone needs to tell this guy you need to tone it down yeah, just like I keep it like a, at a tone and make sure that the movie gets through and not like this it's mess. typically like a three-hour movie most three-hour 240 movies i watch i'm yeah. like there's a reason for it it's pretty good there's I will not typically invest my time in a movie that long that I know is not going to be great. But this was new and I watched it. But it's like, I just didn't get it, I guess. Or it's pretty decent performance, but it's just meh. Told but, everybody. I didn't have high hopes for this movie. I told true. people. I was like, I don't think it's going to be that good. Did our blonde trailer react ever come out? Did we it, do a blonde trailer? We yet? did. I don't remember that. I don't. I doubt it did. Then, yeah. um, I, I think. That <laughs> well, was, in all fairness, like I don't remember half the videos. Yeah, that we made, I. So. True. Half the stuff I say, I don't remember. <laughs> um, that's why watching our videos is so fun. That's why you should watch them. Yeah, <laughs> self promotion. Um, but quick rating for blonde. Oh, three. Three. I'll give it. A five. the Armas was the only good thing about it. Yeah, uh, I'll give it a five. It's a well-made movie. It's a little too long. Don't know what they were going for. Didn't didn't feel anything like I thought I would. Like there's no I didn't have any. It didn't feel satisfactory. I just or, didn't have any emotion towards it. Not yeah, even like that's fair. I was I don't know. Anyways, though, that's those are two recent releases. Starting with some earlier stuff I watched um, that actually came out. Honk for Jesus, save your soul. I don't know if you ever watched that. No, I'm waiting for it on streaming. It's on Peacock. Cool. All right, I'll watch it. Yeah, I think that this was. I feel like it's been a month since we've done anything, but this was yeah. right before we were got, like stopped doing stuff. Yeah, um, yeah, it's really interesting. It's like satire, super cool. Jordan Peele and Daniel Kaluuya are producers on it. It's funny. Two it's legends. Interesting story. Liked it a lot. Um, quick rating, like a seven out of ten. What else have I watched? You ever? I think we were going to do a video on it. It was definitely on our schedule. Red Rocket. What is it? A24. Ex-porn star goes back to his hometown. 
No, I don't remember that. It's a little weird, but I really liked it. It's really good though. Um, Red Rocket. Piece of shit guy. Yeah, he like yeah. courts this like seventeen year old. And, oh like, yeah. But it's he's like I'm gonna take her to the showbiz and like get her to do. Oh porn. yeah, I'm like, yeah. I'm like oh, was it that '30s one or not '30s? No, or it's 60s like '60s or '80s. No, it's like present time. Quick rating for that. I'm sad I missed it last year. Uh, it's like an eight, nine out of ten. Really enjoyed it. You see anything like? interesting you went saw amsterdam what else have you seen in theaters uh, i'm trying to remember i don't remember because like there's been so many movies that's coming go to out your regal app we... check your tickets oh yeah that's a good point <laughs> not sponsored oh don't worry don't worry darling yeah what a shit movie <laughs> yeah i what what didn't you like well, i might linger on this one a bit uh what i didn't like about it was how predictable it was yeah okay literally the only good things that were in there was florence Pugh and chris pine and um the asian chick from crazy rich asian yeah yeah <laughs> don't remember her name Just, or or eternals yeah, yeah um jimmy chan right jimmy chan yeah. Gemma, Gemma chan yeah uh yeah those were the only good things about it olivia wilde what the fuck was she Dude, doing in the movie? It, um, she shouldn't be in her own movie. It like never works. It always just, it's not even, you could have the best performance ever, but something like you're in your own movie. You. Yeah. Except you, Kevin Smith. I'll pivot to Clerks 3 in a bit. But. <laughs> and she looks really interesting in the movie as well. I was like, is this Olivia Wilde? I, yeah. Am I, I like, going crazy? I like the aesthetic. Um, ah, It is predictable. God. Florence Pugh's great. Harry Styles, Styles is, should stick to singing or practice more. Go he's going to be a gay cop in a movie soon. I'm, oh, I'm pretty wait. interested in. Wow, he's so um, open-minded. That's so great. <laughs> um, otherwise, though, it is just... It was it boring as... It had a lot of hype to it for um, because of Harry. And that's it it. Was, the movie was so simple. It was like, I sat there and the movie played. I was like, Oh, and then there's this thing, and they were like, oh, we, they're going back to the mountain and whatever, like, to the desert. And I'm like, let me guess. They're just, like, in a VR thing. They're I didn't like get that. So, I mean, there this, I think a lot of people watched this, and there was, it kept giving you questions and not really answering them. But, like, it was, it's all right. Apparently, Shia LaBeouf was supposed to be in this yeah, movie. Yeah, he was supposed to be Harry Styles' character. Oh, is that true? Oh, yeah. oh, oh you, they, he, she fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> um, but rating for Don't Worry, Darling. Oh, that would have been such a different movie. Then. I would. That was, Probably yeah. would have been better. <laughs> that would have been better. Rating for Don't Worry, Darling, though. Uh, four. Florence Pugh takes all four. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I was going to say five. No, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll follow you on that a one. A four. Um, Sadly, uh, Don't Worry, Darling was so overhyped. And that was that yeah, it was didn't probably help what it. killed it. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, I talked to Will about this. I texted him after the movie. I was like, I'm going to guess Harry Styles is going to be in that like videos and stuff or like TikToks or whatever. He like says he's such a good actor. Yeah. I found one. Of course. He I did. wish I saved it. I was like, oh, shit, of course. I'm surprised I haven't seen stuff like that on TikTok and stuff. I went and saw Beast, the Idris Elba Lion movie. Yeah. Uh, how was that? It's all right. I'd say it's bad. But... Did, you hear, did you hear the story about that movie? Mm -mm. Idris Elba's daughter wanted to play. Yes. Yeah, and she did. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. It's, um, it's all right. I'll give it like a four out of ten. It's just, it was all right. I'll give it a four. Yeah, it's the same as Don't Worry, Darling. I was entertained about just as much. Okay, fair enough. Um, Breaking, that's the... What's his name? Star Wars. Finn. Uh, oh, that's John the, Boyega. Yeah. Bank robbery. Really good. I'd say wait for streaming for it. So it's not that good. Yeah. But like, it's not necessarily a theater movie. I think I would have gotten the same experience. If you home. watch it at so, home, yeah. Great performance. I'd say like award winning won't happen just because it's kind of a smaller movie, but it was fun. Really enjoyed it. Great story. It's based on a true story. I'll give it a seven out of ten. Good to see him in movies though. Yeah. I'm glad he's back in the kind of, he kind of took a break. Maybe that Star Wars money right Oh out. well, you know, Disney's racist. <laughs> well, probably never I don't even think Ray Fisher or Cyborg, he's been in anything since Justice League. So he's, oh, he's probably blacklisted. So yeah, because Warner Bros. said Fuck you. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Some other things I've seen. Smile. Great horror movie. I actually had trouble sleeping. Great jump scares. Oh, I Not the best movie. Don't say anything yet because I, I want to I watch it. It's pretty good. Like, I, I give it 7 out of 10. Um, Moon Age Daydream. David Bowie uh, biopic. Uh, 
I almost it's, forgot about it's that. It's in one. my top ten uh this year. I'll give it like a nine and a half. It's just such an interesting way to tell the story of his life. Um I wanna get inebriated and watch it. Um there was the mystery movie. Mystery movie. At Regal. Oh yeah, what was that? The greatest beer run ever, Zach Efron. It's on Apple TV. I didn't expect that one oh. at all because I was like, oh, it won't be a streaming movie. But it was. But it was. <laughs> um it was an interesting story, also apparently based on a true story. Um, Zac Efron's too much of Zac Efron in that movie, but it was <laughs> it was cool. I gave a I gave a seven and a half. Yeah, I, I I enjoyed it. I watched it twice. What made it a seven? Um, the story. Wait, the, hold on. Actually, what made it a three? A three. Yeah. Uh, what? Why? Why? Why three? Like, why did you take out three? Oh, why did I take out the three? Um, a point for Zac Efron. Okay, fair enough. That's um, it. <laughs> The three. Yeah. I don't know. It's just it's not the best movie. I think the mystery of me going into that mystery movie helped, but I did watch it twice. See, it's more fun when a movie's a mystery. Oh, I I I, fun, I learned. That's why I don't I watch trailers. But um, I think it's just a cool story, and I really liked it. It's he's getting beer to his friends in Vietnam. Oh, nice. And like, it's just so absurd that it's based on a true story that it, that's enough to like reel yeah. you into it. And so it's just fun. But yeah, seven and a half, the seven, whatever I said, uh, barbarian. You heard of that one? No. Um, horror movie. Probably. I would say it's probably the horror movie of the year. Um, Whoa. it's not my favorite. I think pearls up there right now is my favorite. Um, that's another one. I watch. I'm going to give that one like a, nine out of ten um barbarian though also a nine out of ten but barbarian starts as one thing and then it flips on you and then it can kind of like flips again and combines stuff super spooky super the advertising for it i'll have to probably show you the trailer but it's like that the trailer they put out recently it's just called justin long's in it and it just says the justin long movie oh and that's it it's called barbarian and then it shows like the ad the producers from the Lego movie oh. and it's a horror movie and it's rated R and it's just That's good. so funny, that um, is funny. <laughs> but really enjoyed it. I recommend it. You haven't even seen Friday the 13th though. Huh? Or Halloween or Halloween. Or Halloween yeah. Dude, I have no hope for that movie. Who does? It comes out every year. I know, but last one was okay. The first one was pretty good in this trilogy. This one, I just I feel like they're gonna do some dumb shit, and I ain't here for some dumb shit. We're ending Michael Myers allegedly. Last one, I guess I'll talk about. I'll look over my list, but Clerks three, um, Kevin Smith. Okay, you seen Clerks? I think I think we've talked about it. Uh, it's black and white guys in the gas station. Um, oh yeah, that was one of his first movies or yes, whatever. It was yeah. his first movie, and then um. Clerks two hadn't seen Clerks two until I was I was literally finishing it on my drive. Don't drive and watch movies. Um, he was on, listening to it. Like yeah, on my, on my way to see Clerks 3. Loved it. Hilarious. Cannot hold up today. There's very racist stuff in it. But, That's all right. Uh, <laughs> damn it, man. Um, <laughs> but Clerks 3. Went and saw it. I was excited. Knew what I was going into. Funny as hell. I cried like a baby. Yeah? I, Funny as, as hell, like, like cried like a no, baby? No, I like cried because like so some, something sad happened. Oh, uh, okay. I cried probably as hard as I did when I was like eight years old going to see Marley and me. Oh, wow. Did not expect that did whatsoever. Kevin Smith is mm. a fucking G. He's <laughs> love him. Death. I rewatched some of his stuff like Chasing Amy, um, J- Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back after seeing this because just love the guy. Probably my favorite director. It's just so funny. He takes the sad and emotional stuff, but also can flip it to funny, but also flip it back to sad. So good. Love you, Kevin Smith, so much. Good stuff. 10 out of 10, entertainment and critical. Anything else you watch streaming you saw or... Oh, streaming-wise? I don't... Shows? Let me check my Netflix. Oh, Do Revenge. You watch that. Dude, oh, fuck that <laughs> movie. Oh, yeah, fuck that movie. <laughs> what? Hold on a second. Let's I'll talk about that real quick. I'll give it a 2 quick. out of 10 real quick. <laughs> Just, Wynn will probably give it a 1, but I'm giving it a 2. Oh, I was going to give it a 0. Oh, okay. There was nothing redeeming about that movie. I didn't think it was whatsoever. that bad. It was horrendous. Did you watch that Jeffrey Dahmer thing? No. I watched it. It was great. People complained about it. Oh, of course. Yeah. I was like, yeah, this is what Jeffrey Dahmer was. What would you expect? Everyone on Twitter was like, this is horrible. Why? 
why is Netflix showing this? Because that's what he did. He did fucking like. I go. should watch it then. Because that's the thing I had the problem with Zac Efron's Ted Bundy thing. Yeah. It's like a romance movie. Yeah. But he's a yeah. piece of shit. Yeah. If he's actually a piece of shit, I might actually have to watch this one. So we'll see. He's an actual piece of shit. It was oh. like, it was incredible. I was like, yeah, this is what people yeah. were romanticizing about. This is what happened. Because like the thing is, is, there's a difference between writing something and then pictures and shit like that yeah. but then when they actually show it and it's like yeah it's actually way worse than you think yeah. it is yeah and people <laughs> people freaked out on twitter i was there oh. that day so <laughs> just dude, fucking, that. i love looking at twitter just for the just absurdity it's uh it's just not everyone <laughs> wants to pick a fight there sometimes they're right sometimes they're wrong but twitter's you know, it, mad and secure it's all opinion so i guess none can be right or wrong i don't think we ever talked about persuasion no we didn't no uh, we didn't that was uh dakota johnson <laughs> the only reason why i watched it was because dakota johnson i mean you suck me and avery watched that <laughs> just a bros night <laughs> i just had it on and he came in like an hour in he okay like, he's like yeah this kind of sucks yeah, it was um do revenge sucked yes i thought it was fun <laughs> Those are my two points. I can't even say it was fun. Um, Good was Night Mommy annoying. was a streaming one. Yeah, that's another Prime. thing. You can't use Mommy anymore. <laughs> Good Night Mommy. Uh, it's a remake of, I believe, an Austrian, Danish, some movie. Yeah. Original, so much better, of course. They did a good job of adapting it. But it, they made some weird choices. Five and a half out of ten. Other movies. Uh, I'll just rattle them off. Intergalactic, the Kid Cudi one. Like an eight out of ten. My best friend's ex- exorcism, like a two. Uh, the Requin, I think it came out this year. Shitty shark movie with a girl, the girl from Clueless, yeah. like a zero out of ten. That okay. that movie is ridiculous. You should watch it. I've been watching vampire movies. I'm not gonna go over there's over those. Blah blah blah. I think pretty much every new that's release I watched. Oh, yeah, that's way more than I watched. I gotta be honest with you. I didn't watch all that many. But yeah. Yeah, that's our free film. We'll just talk about movies. If you got any vampire movies, leave them in the comments down below. Um, Twilight. Morgan sent me a bunch, and I literally watched, I think I only have two left. She sent me like eight. <laughs> no. But that's our free film. Oh, yeah, the movie with Ross. Have you seen that movie with uh, Jeffrey Dahmer? Yeah, uh, that one. Ross yeah. yeah, that was like when I was like, yeah, this is fucked. Because like, I don't think this is how you should be showing Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah. You're, you're not supposed to feel bad about this. Fucker. Yeah, that one's just like. Again, romanticized. Free Film Friday. There we talk about whatever. We talked about movies. Let us know if there's anything we missed. Uh, or maybe I yeah, watched what it and forgot. Missed? Who knows? I don't know. I've watched a lot. Thank you all for watching. That's our big feature film. Nope. That's is our Free Film Friday. <laughs> we love movies. We love y'all. I'm Will. Will needs to watch Amsterdam. That's when I'm going to. Thank you all for watching. We love movies. We love y'all. Subscribe. Bye. Doing Dude, someone, what? Funhouse copied us. What do you mean? You remember the bit we did with the first Halloween thing? Yeah. Where I walk in and you're like, I'm like, you're supposed to dress up or whatever. Yeah. They did the same thing. When was this? Hold on. What the pretty, fuck? Pretty recently. I thought it, it's. I mean, we're pioneers, guys. <laughs>